Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? This big porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And it's that time of the month again I'm afraid. You know what time that is don't you? Helmets of the month. It's that time where we collect all the votes in from email and Twitter when people are not hacking me and deleting all my tweets email and twitter and what we do we add them all up and then we pick the top 15 out of them all and that's right you've got it it's helmets of the month the pound for pound list for september now are you ready for this are you ready right in at number 15 is there again in it He's there again. I get my driving glasses on first. Let me pull up up here and get my driving glasses on. I can't reach it. He's there again, number 15. In at number 15. You've got it. The ginger one. Steffi Bull. How are you doing Steffi? Hashtag levels. Steffi Bull voted number 15 helmets of the month. Why has he been voted a helmet? Well, he didn't help himself did he when he were having a go at Stig on social media and blah de blah and trying to cause problems for Stiggy. Did you Steffi? So you've ended up in helmets. What can you do? What you should do, Steffi, you should come out and go into bat for your fighters. That's what you should do. Go out to bat for your fighters and you won't be involved in helmet votes, would you? So, Steffi Bull, you are helmet number 15. All right. Now, number 14. Number 14. Number 14. Helmet of the month for September. You've got it. And we're not having it, we're not having a go at ginger people here, but Jake Wood. Helmet of the month, number 15, on Porky's Corner with your fucking stupid podcast. Jake Wood, helmet of the month. Why are you doing a podcast like that and talking up everybody match room and slagging anybody else who ain't match room or sky? You're a fucking Elmer, Jake Wood. Stick to being Max Brannan on EastEnders. And go fuck off, fucking Jake Wood, number 14, Elmer. Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Hey? Have a look. In at number 13. Ho ho ho! In at number 13. Helmer of the month. It's the first time we've ever had a Helmet of the Month, and it's a woman. You've got it. Anna Woolhouse, Sky Sports presenter. You have been voted Helmet of the Month, and it's the first time we've had a, had a woman voted on the helmets. Can't believe it. Anna Woolhouse, Helmet of the Month. Well, you don't help yourself, do you, Anna? With your constant whinging. Constant whinging about people having a pop at you. Listen, you want to come and have a look at my inbox? Come and have a look at my emails, what I get. I get photos of my kids sliced up, things like that, and people fly tipping on car pictures in past and stuff like that. Come and live my life. You put, out, you put yourself out there, you're going to cop it, aren't you? So, Anna Woolhouse, Helmet of the Month, number 13. So. In at number 12, you've got it, Spencer Oliver, Spencer Oliver, not Spencer Oliver who does that podcast with Jake Wood, no wonder you're getting voted a helmet, what can I do, Spencer Oliver, 
you're a helmet. There's nothing I can do about it if you're getting voted helmet of the month. We have to top the votes up. But Spencer, you don't do yourself any favours, do you? Walking about, constantly going on about KSI, Logan Paul and and coming on about the audience that these people are going to bring to boxings. What fucking audience? There are a lot of fucking kids that watch it. It's a teenage thing. These people are not going to want to watch. Look, are you telling me, Spencer Oliver, that these people are going to watch this fight on Sky Sports where you bigging it up and then they're going to say, do you know what? I'm going to go watch Ted Cheeseman fight now. I want to know about Ted Cheeseman because I watched KSI Logan Paul and now I want to watch Ted Cheeseman. Are they fuckers like? Get a grip, Spencer Oliver. So your element number 12, Spencer Oliver, the one with the jug ears, who spends half his life in toilets. Spencer Oliver, old jug ears himself, number 12. I like you really, Spencer, but... You know, you're, uh, you voted number 12, so what can I do? So... In uh, number 11. Helmets of the month, number 11. Are you ready for this? Are you sure you're ready? Because people have done this so they can cause me problems. Right. In at number 11, Denny Sobson. Den, your helmet at month number 11. Den, what can I say? I mean, the votes are cast. Den, Denny Sobson, you are a helmet of the month for September. Pound for pound helmet, number 11, Den. What have you been doing? Den, you've got to stop trying to make out your Joe Sugden with that flat cap. Smarten your set up a bit and then you won't get voted in helmets at month, but... Dennis Hobson, your number 11 helmet. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. And it's not a money thing, Den. It's just you've been voted, aren't you? So what can I do? What can I do? Helmet of the month in at number 10. Gypsy John Fury. John Fury, you've been voted helmet of the month number 10. Sorry about that, John. No doubt it'll be a backhander for me when I see you, but... If you get voted in helmets, John, you get voted, but it's probably because your comments uh, that you've been coming out with regarding certain things when you're, in, when you're doing interviews and stuff like that. So, But I don't need to explain my sense. John Fury, you voted helmet a month. So, that's it for number 10. So, in at number 9. It's Johnny! Johnny Nelson. Johnny Nelson. I think he's got record on it for the only person that's involved in every single helmet. Johnny Nelson, number nine. What can I say to that? Well, you're, con you're consistent, Johnny. I'll give you that, mate. You're definitely consistent, but you are a helmet. And I think you even know you're a helmet. That's the problem, Johnny. If you need to speak to anybody about helmets, speak to Johnny Nelson. So, but... It's Johnny's missus I feel sorry for. So, but... I don't think she'll be complaining that Johnny's helmet at month number nine, will she? But it's a bit of PR for you, Johnny. Just when we thought that you were... Uh, we're going to disappear and you're back again, Johnny, on helmets, so... And you've been quieter lately, but you're always there with votes, aren't you? And I don't even think you've done anything wrong this month, Johnny, but you've been such a company man and such a helmet in the last couple of years that you're always going to be voted, Johnny, so... Johnny Nelson, helmet of the month, Porky's Corner, number nine. Right. In at number eight... The one, the only, Spencer Fear and Spencer, you've been voted. I know you don't like the helmets, Spencer. I know you don't like it, but you've been voted. What can I do? What can I do if the votes come in? I mean, you do a lot for charity. You're an ex-boxer, manager, cut man, promoter, manager, whatever, fighter. You've done it all, TV pundit. 
philanthropist, whatever they call it. But you've been voted Spencer, so there's no I can do, mate. So Spencer Fear and Elmer Mump for number eight. So probably because of things in the past that people feel like they have to vote for you, Spencer, but it is what it is, isn't it? So Spencer Fear and Elmer Mump for number eight. In at number seven, we don't know his name, but he's called Dean. And he says he's Dillian White's brother. So we're gonna call him Dean. Is he Dillian White's brother? White. Dean White. Number seven. Elmer Mont for September. You're probably gonna copy for every month now, Dean, for the simple reason that once you work in boxing industry or you or I don't know if 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 you work in boxing industry or not, I don't know. You seem to be doing alright though, but you're gonna get voted and you're gonna get tagged with the same brush, Dean, because you're running around saying you're Dillian White's brother, but then it next breath you're running around saying, well, I'm not really his blood brother, blood brother, but, and then you, you, you called all these different names now. So you're gonna cop it, mate, so, here's what it is. So Dean White, number seven, Elmer a month. So, in at number six, Normally, I wouldn't want to put him in, but he's always there or thereabouts. Carl Froch, you're number six, Elmer a month. People are doing this. I mean, you're always there or thereabouts in the news, or but people have done this, but I think, Carl, for your comments on Jake Wood and Spencer Oliver's podcast. So, Carl Froch, you're Elmer a month, number six. So... What can I do? What can I do? I'll have to, uh, I'll have to send him a text and tell him he's in helmets. So it's not good, is it? But I've got to stick to rules, haven't I? Carl Froch, helmet a month, number six. But it is what it is, isn't it? But what can I do? In at number five, you've got it. It's Tony Bellew. Tony, the disappearing man, Bellew. Now, why he just doesn't disappear, I don't know. Disappear and then get home safely to your wife and kids. Tony Bell, you Elmer of the month, number five. What can I say? I mean, and, and he's been quiet as well, but every now and then he pipes up with some, doesn't he? So, but what can I do? In at number four, Helmet of the month, Porky's Corner for September, number four. You've got it. It's Penfold, Dave Caldwell. You fucking helmet! Well, Dave Caldwell, what can you say? He went to that ultimate boxer, didn't he? We're doing pundit work there, and we're going on about this and that and blah de blah and fucking hell. You're giving Anna and an headache. Well, I mean, pff, I don't know. What can you say, Dave Caldwell? You are a helmet. I mean, you even look like a helmet as well. <laughs> In your burgundy suit on Ultimate Boxer. So Dave Caldwell, Elmer of the Month, number four. In at number three, he's back. It's Paulie Malignaggi. Oh my God. Paulie Malignaggi, the magic man who can't fucking knock a wet echo out. Paulie Malignaggi, will you stop boring the fucking pants off us about fighting Conor McGregor? He punched you upside down. Punched you upside down in sparring. Get over it. He's living in your fucking head rent free. So Paulie Malignaggi, get over it. In at number two. The one. The only. It's Bean. Runner Bean. Could have been. Fucking should have been. Never been. Fucking bake Bean. Mr. Bean, Adam Smith. Just tell us where the bodies are, Adam. Please tell us where the bodies are. But you are Helmer of the Month for number two, Adam Smith. What can I say? You're there every month, aren't you, Adam Smith? Helmer of the Month, Adam Smith. Now, that only leaves one person, doesn't it? The helmet of the month can only go to one person. Well, 
I'm wrong. It's going to two people this month. Now, who can it be? Now, if you're watching this now, you're going to be thinking, who is it? I'm in suspense. Well, let me tell you this. All right. It's a joint number one. They've got the same amount of votes. One of them was streaks ahead, and then in the last five or six days, we've had loads of votes in. So the joint one is Eddie Hearn and the Stig. Eddie Hearn and the Stig are joint number one helmets of the month. Eddie Hearn, because he came out with something like, I mean, this is what they say in the emails. KSI Logan Paul 2 makes me horny, all the, all the bad press I'm getting, it makes me horny. Eddie, no, I'll tell you what fucking makes you horny. The fact that Daz Own are pissed off with you that you've only got 72,000 subscriptions for them. 72,000. Hey, what's that? All that ain't gonna pay one show that you've been taking money off them. What are you doing, Eddie? You're filling your own boots at Dazone, and if it collapses, you've got a sky to fall back on, so... Don't bullshit bullshitters, Eddie. You're a fucking helmet, get over it. But you haven't won it this month, Eddie. You are joint with the Stig. Now, the Stig... The Stig comes to Dennis's show as my guest for the third time, and he he's just behaving like an helmet. Not at the show, but after. You know, he's decided to take it upon that he's an employee of Dennis Hobson and that's Helmet Behaviour Stig and look, I ain't got a problem with Stig but you've been voted Helmet of the Month, joint number one with Eddie Hearn, streaks ahead of anybody, so there's your top 15 but joint one, Eddie Hearn and the Stig, Helmets of the Month, for Porky's Corner for September, so what can I do? Sometimes in life, you just got to tell the truth, and the truth hurts. But, from Steffi Bull at number 15, the Ginger Winger, right the way through to Eddie Hearn and the Stig at number one. So, I hope you've enjoyed Helmets of the Month. So, shout out to Innovation Alloys, AJ's Business. Shout out to Cozy Holmes, Steve Trump. Steve Trump, Steve Crump, and uh, oh God, Woo! and shout out to uh, Climate Cool and Doncaster Air Conditioning Company. All right, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. And uh, shout out to Glen Roads in Deer Lake with Tommy Frank. They've gone out to Deer Lake to see the Muhammad Ali training camp, you know, museum and that, they've gone out there, so I hope Glyn and uh, Tommy are having a good time. Shout out Alfie Warren and uh, Mark Tibbs for, uh, for, for what we spoke about yesterday, so it's nice that boxing people can work together and it's amazing what you can achieve, isn't it, when you work together, but so, peace out, keep on trucking. Boom.